Hey everybody, Robert Ayala here. Thanks again for checking me out on YouTube and as we try to prepare you for the NREMT excuse me, exam together. So uh, what I wanted to go over is go over, um, explain a little bit more in depth a popular EMT mnemonic that I know you learned in class, sample, and OPQRST. So let's do, I got a little mini whiteboard here. So I got sam I got S. I got sample. Yeah, let me write it out for you. Okay, so sample. What does the S stand for? You said signs and symptoms, you are correct. So signs and symptoms, pretty straightforward, you know. You know, the symptom would be, oh, my chest hurts. Signs would be, you know, you can kind of tell that they're pale, they're pale, diaphoretic, clammy skin, you know, that kind of thing. That's the signs. The symptoms is what they're telling you. Allergies. And this is an important one um, because we actually use it in the field. So are there any medicines that you're allergic to? We don't really care about food. We don't care if they're allergic to crawfish or shrimp or peanut butter. I mean, we do a little bit, but not really. But if they're in the middle of an asthma attack, and we're going to give them a breathing treatment, and they say, oh wait, I'm allergic to albuterol, big, big problem. So good to know. So that's that's something you would ask always, 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 especially if you're about to give a medic medication. Uh, medications. Do you take any medications? You know. Oh, you know, I take Plavix. Oh, okay, well, maybe you had a heart attack in the past. Good to know. Or, you know, I take Viagra. Well, then we know that we're not going to give them nitroglycerin. Important question. Um, P, um, past medical history. I'll continue writing it out. Well, I'll abbreviate it. So, um, do you know, do you have, does you, is there any history? Is there a history of you know, um, do you have a family history of heart problems? Oh yeah, well my granddad had a, my great, my gra my, excuse me, my dad had a heart attack when I was 56. Oh, okay, how old are you? I'm 57. Oh, well, and your chest hurts? And you're, you know, diaphoretic? And you're having trouble breathing? Well, it's, it's, it's likely you're having a heart attack. So, good question. Um, do you have any diabetes, hypertension, major operations? All good things to know. Last oral intake, mm. what did you have to eat? It's a good question um, in certain circumstances. Um, it's not, honestly, I wouldn't say it's the most important one on here, but still good to know. And events leading up to. So what were you doing when this happened? Did anything make it worse or better? Oh, you know, I ran five miles and it's cold outside. Now, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble breathing. Oh, okay, well, maybe you have some asthma, you know. So, things like that. So, I just wanted to review this with you for the NREMT and kind of give you an example, you know. I, I mean, I, when I finished basic school, I, I knew this by heart, like I'm sure you do. You know, signs, symptoms, allergies, medications. But where do they actually fit into a practical context? So, uh, anyway, that's, sorry for my crappy handwriting. But anyway, um, check out my EMT audio study guide if you're going to be taking the NREMT soon. So you can study while you work out, drive, or even while you take that nice bath with your whiskey. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.